You guys all good to go? Coach, you talked about uh, about being capable after the game Friday night. How have you seen your players embrace maybe that thought in the day since that game? Yeah, I thought they embraced it very well uh, because it breeds uh, not being complacent or being content with uh, with finish, finishing second. And so we recognized the things that we did well, and that was the preparation of the game. That was the energy that we played with and, uh, and the resiliency of never giving up throughout the duration of the game. But there were spots in the game that we weren't our best. And when, we were, when we're not at our best, we don't give ourselves an opportunity to claim victory. And uh, unfortunately, it cost us in this game. So we compliment, them, compliment our team on the things they did well, but also we take ownership and we own the things that we did not do very well. And then we build on it and move from there. There were a couple of examples of it in this game specifically, and there's been examples the entire season. What do you make of some of the escapability plays that Dalton has shown that yeah. he plays alive and extend? Uh, you know, I think those that was one of the things that gave him, uh, put him in position to get the starting nine, his ability to extend the play, uh, to make something when uh, nothing is there. I think he continues to do that. Uh, you know, I would hope that we won't have him have to have to do that often, that we're able to protect him and be in the right spot at the right time from a uh, passing game standpoint and get in the, run, the correct run plays that allow him. Uh, but it's certainly uh, an attribute that he brings to our team, and uh, we enjoy having him and the ability for him to do that. How satisfied are you with the balance of the 